Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're starting to get to the style of distance problems that are more likely to be on your GED here. A little more complex, a little more reasoning involved. So let's take a look. It says, what is the distance between negative seven and four on a number line? Now I have way too many students here who give me foolish answers. The two answers I hear are usually three. I hear three, now there's a wrong answer, guys. Or I hear um, negative 11. Also, a wrong answer uh, for different reasons. A three is a wrong answer because it's just too small. Let me show you what I mean. If you're talking about the distance between negative seven and four in a number line, well, zero is over here. Four is way over, it's on one side of zero. You know, four is four units to the right of zero. And then uh, negative seven is way off to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative seven. These numbers are way far uh, further apart than three units. You know, three units would just be like one, two, three. Not even close. So something's going on wrong with the student who answers that one. Uh, the problem I have with negative 11 is different. Negative 11 I have an issue with because it's negative. Distance is never negative. Distance is always positive. Always, 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 always. I can't stress that enough. And it's generally on the GED trying to trick you. So watch out. Distance is always positive. So let's take a look. Let us count between four and seven. What would it really be? Well, of course, from here to zero, uh, like I said, from four to zero is one, two, three, four units. That's four units right there. And then from zero to negative seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. I have four units and seven more units. I have a total of 11. 11 positive 11. Now, you might be saying, Kate, that doesn't make sense mathematically because you told me that for distance, I have to subtract. Why are you adding four and seven? Yeah, for distance, you have to subtract, but I'm talking about subtracting the numbers you've been given. And remember, we said we would start with the bigger number. So which one of these two is the bigger number? Well, four. And from that, I want to subtract. Now, what am I supposed to subtract? Don't be the foolish student who writes, I'll subtract seven. No, you're supposed to subtract the other number. And the other number is not seven. The other number is negative seven. Negative seven. Four minus negative seven. Now, you might be saying, Kate, I don't know how to minus a negative. Well, if you haven't learned how to minus negatives yet, that's why this visualization is important. But I can tell you right now, subtracting a negative or taking away negativity is the same as adding. Two minuses in a row turn into plus. And that's why four plus seven, 11, is the answer. Whether you realize that this is a subtraction problem and do it mathematically, four minus negative seven, or you just sketch out yourself out a number line, either way, you're gonna get a final answer of 11. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.